I don't. <laughs> Two trips are for the week. I've got this. Toodaloo. My name is Whitney B, and we're going to be covering 10 acne products, spirit fingers, uh, that I found really helped my mild to moderate acne. So, background of my skin, I had mild acne throughout high school, like, you know, no more than like five spots on my face at a time. I went to college and all hell broke loose on my face, and I had moderate acne all along my chin line, and then I'd have random spots, cheeks, nose, and forehead. So I got sick of trying over-the-counter products because none of them were working. And most of the over-the-counter products are actually made for mild acne, not moderate to severe. So the dermatologist put me on, oh Lord, they put me on a lot of stuff. They tried antibiotics because acne is caused by bacteria. That helped for a little bit and then my body would build a tolerance. So they had to keep increasing the antibiotic. They put me on retinoid creams, which are terrible. <laughs> they do what they're supposed to do. So they're, they're made to help skin turnover. That helps with um, acne and old marks and skin hyperpigmentation. The only thing is it takes a while to build up. So you use it like every other day, I think once a day like that. And then you slowly increase dosage but you peel, like you flake something terrible. And it's like, mine was really bad around my nose. And so I worked at Walgreens at the time as a beauty consultant. And I mean, who would listen to somebody who's got flaky skin everywhere? It was embarrassing. So that was terrible. So I got sick of the dermatologist because I wasn't seeing results that I wanted. Like I wanted perfect clear skin. Part of that was my fault because I wouldn't be consistent with skincare. Like, hit or miss I would wash my face morning and night hit or miss I'd take my makeup off or not so really a lot of it was my fault and now that I'm through with college and I'm a grown-ass lady out in the real world I have found that my breakouts come from when I'm inconsistent so if I don't wash my face when I get off work or when I wake up in the morning or if I leave makeup on too long I get breakouts and my breakouts are always in my chin so I have 10 products in front of me, technically 11, but this title will be top 10 because top 11 sounds stupid. And this is honestly for mild to moderate acne. If you have severe acne, there is nothing over the counter that is going to fix it. You can watch 101 YouTube videos and it's not going to help your issue because a lot of it, if it's cystic acne or if it's something balance or uh, hormonal balance issue you're going to have to have a prescription for something so if you have severe acne go to your primary care physician get a consult for dermatology and go see them that is what they do that is their job and they will help you with that if you are like me however and you have mild to moderate acne some of these products may give you a genuine result and that's why we're all here lurking in the acne section of YouTube because we just want help. <laughs> so I have been using lots and lots and lots of products because my acne started, I want to say around maybe 2008 or 2009. So it's almost like 10 years of dealing with acne. Do I still have like perfect skin? Hell no. I have makeup on. I have a layer of foundation and concealer to hide this mess because even though I may not have an active breakout my pimple marks stay for a long freaking time little red marks if you feel them they're flat they're not an actual pimple they're just the residual marking they stay on your face for weeks so you look at me and you're like good lord she's got a lot of pimples I only have two but they leave their mark so there's actually products that help with that too and that'll be a completely different video we're just going to talk about treating the pimples the acne on your face. So let's go in. I don't even know where to start. There's so many things here. I guess we can start in order. What are you gonna do with your face first? You're gonna wash your face. And you're gonna wash your face twice a day. You're gonna wake up and you're gonna wash that face and you're gonna wash your face before you go to bed. You better do it. The first one that I really enjoy, and I use this every morning, and sometimes at night when I'm feeling lazy, I don't wanna do something different. It is Kosar RX, low pH, good morning, Facial cleanser. 
Oh, gel cleanser. I apologize. It smells like tea tree oil, which is a known antimicrobial, so it helps with bacteria that cause acne. It is a clear gel, foams up really easily, don't need a big amount. I really like this because it's very refreshing. Like it's not, doesn't sting, doesn't burn, doesn't hurt, <laughs> doesn't turn your face red. There's no dryness caused from this product. It is gentle, but it does a good job. Now, why is it low pH? Like, why does that matter? Let me, let me tell you, sit down, move closer to the screen and I'll tell you. Low pH, if your face is at a certain pH level, right? Normal pH for the face and you have little bacteria living on the face. They thrive in that environment. They're on your skin, that's their normal zone. They are going to reproduce, wreak havoc, and cause pimples. If you put your pH on your face to a lower number, so we want it a little bit more acidic, low pH is gonna be more acidic, you create an acidic environment that the bacteria can't live in, and which in essence kills off the bacteria. Hey, pretty easy, right? So that's what this face wash does. It takes your pH of your face, drops a little bit, so it's a little bit acidic, and then the bacteria can't stand that and they can't live on your face. So it's definitely good to use this consistently. <laughs> Could I use that word? Be consistent, consistently. Okay, the second face wash is completely different. So CoSRX is a Korean brand and it's known for going towards acne troubled skin. The next one is an American brand, which is pretty well known, it's Clean and Clear. Clean and Clear Continuous Control Acne Cleanser is not gentle, it is not delicate, and it is terrible, <laughs> but it does a really good job. It is called the Continuous Control Acne Cleanser. It has 10% benzoyl peroxide acne treatment, which is, you'll notice there's benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid um, in American companies. Those are the two top products for anti-acne. It's considered a daily formula. I don't recommend that if you have sensitive skin. I actually got this from my dermatologist recommendation and I now use it after I've learned years and years that this stuff eats my skin away. Like it makes me very red, very sensitive. So I use this almost like a hair mask as in how many times I use it a week, not in the hair. On the face, like maybe twice a week. Um, if I notice that I'm starting to get like multiple spots on my face like I probably will tonight and tomorrow because I wore a full face of makeup I'll use this I'll wash my face first with the nice gentle one and then in the shower when my pores are opened and ready to be savaged I go with the clean and clear just twice a week slowly build up if you want to use it more than that then slowly increase so start with twice a week then do three times a week and let's increase it up. If you don't have sensitive skin, you may have no problem with this. Just forewarning, it is very strong. So that is the other face cleanser that I really like. And I kind of use it as a mask, like I'll leave it in my chin area, do something else and then rinse it off. So that's, those are our two favorite cleansers for acne. Um, once you've washed your face consistently, you're going to use a toner. Now, when I, is when I was in high school and I was ignorant of skincare. <laughs> I thought the toner only worked if you felt it sting. Okay. If, <laughs> when you felt it burn, that's how you knew it was doing a good job. That is not correct. Do not use products that burn your face because you're going to turn red. You're going to have inflammation and then your face and skin are not going to look good. So my favorite toner for sensitive acne prone skin is Kosar RX. What is this called? AHA BHA clarifying treatment toner. It does not sting. It comes with a spray bottle, which is wonderful. You just spray it on your face, spray, 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 spray. Um, then you can use a cotton round or your hand and you get the product in there. I really like this because this can also go on your eyelids. So I don't mean directly spray them, but you can pat the product there and it'll help with your eyelids too. Because you can get pimples around your eyebrows. That's real life. And those are not attractive. So that's my favorite toner. So you don't want a toner that has alcohol in it because that is going to dry out your skin. And when you have acne or you have oily skin, you might think that that's great, but you want to strip all the oil off of your skin when actually it's going to make it worse. So your skin has a negative feedback response system. So that's a very long phrase, which only means it's almost like a rubber band. If you pull it, it's going to shoot back at some point. 
So your body doesn't realize that the over oil production it's doing is, is not something you want. It thinks it's doing a good job. Oil protects your skin. The oily you are, the less wrinkly and less aging you're going to have earlier on. So it's a good thing. However, when you are wearing makeup or if you're going around and you have little ponds of oil around your nose, that's not necessarily an attractive thing. So you're probably thinking, I need to get rid of it. I got to strip it all off. That's not correct. Your body is going to realize you've removed all the oil and it's going to say, I got to help her out or him, whoever you are. And it's like, I need to give you more oil. So in fact, you're going to have an overproduction of oil again, probably worse than what you originally had. <laughs> so stripping is not the answer. Not as a lifestyle, you can strip all you want, but on your face, leave a little bit of oil. It's not necessarily bad. Now, once you've toned, you want to use an essence or a serum or both. Um, I have two that I wanted to mention. So if you are very oily, I this is legit. Now listen, this is the belief, believe in truth. Hydra sebum control essence. Sebum's another another word. I'm never making up words. Sebum is another word for oil. Same thing, okay? And it is supposed to reduce your sebum level by 20%. This is true. This actually works. And I've never had a product that actually made me less oily. This does. I've actually had to stop using it because it's made me almost dry. And it's kind of wintry where I'm at. It's a little bit cold. So definitely give this a go. If you want less oil on your face, this works. It's worked for me. Now just remember everyone's skin is different, but definitely give it a try. And then the other option that I really like is the Estee Lauder Clear Difference Advanced Blemish Serum. It is, it doesn't sting. It does turn my face red, but it doesn't sting when it doesn't. And then the redness clears up. I can put anything on my face and like, even just like patting stuff in is going to get blood circulation and I turn very red, like a little tomato. But the product seems to work very well. It helps really with like small bumps that have formed like cheeks and forehead. They're not pimples, they're just little bumps. The Advanced Serum gets rid of that for you. Another option are wipes that come pre-soaked with medication or whatever essence they have on them. Um, the One Step Pimple Clear Pad by CosRx, you'll notice that that brand pops up quite a bit. It's flawless. I really like this. One, because it's easy to use. You literally wipe it around troubled areas. It's supposed to clear up pores, kind of decrease their size, and get rid of acne marks and acne. The thing that really touches my soul about this product is the packaging. Look at that packaging. He feels flawless. I feel flawless just looking at him. So once you've done an essence or toner, it is now time for treatments. Um, there are two, three. I have three treatments. The number one treatment, hands down, if you have an active pimple, if you have multiple pimples, the best thing that you can put on your face to get rid of that pimple is Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10. It's a 10% benzoyl peroxide acne medication. It's over the counter. It's in this little tube. I uh, like Target and Walmart and stuff have their own generic version. This is wonderful. You. I gotta warn you. You put it on your spot. I have a spot somewhere. Can't feel it under all the makeup. <laughs> you take a little spot, put it on the pimple, let it dry. Forewarning, if I leave this on a long time, so I put this on at night before I go to bed. One it has peroxide in it, so it will turn your sheets colors. So lay a towel or something over your pillow. If not, you'll have sheets that are bleached from your little face. And another warning with this product, if you're going to use it, is that it can cause irritation. That is the best spot treatment for acne, period. It is the best one. If you go to a dermatologist, they're going to recommend it if you have mild to moderate acne. They will, because it's flawless. Maybe not the brand, but the medication is the same. The second one I really like is, so Kate Somerville has one, and then Mario Badescu has one. He calls it the drying lotion. It's a mixture of salicylic acid and camoceptine. You don't shake it. You leave it separated. You dip a q-tip down. You get the medication and the pink stuff on there. The liquid part is what's going to kill the pimple. Basically salicylic acid is going to kill the bacteria. And the pink part is going to smooth the pimple to soothe it. You know, get that redness down. Get the inflammation turned down. Just 
just love on that little pimple. So obviously you want to wear this at night because you're going to have little pink spots all over your face where you put it. I prefer the Clean and Clear gel. When I'm feeling fancy and I want to have pink shit all over my face, I go for that one. And then the third treatment is something I just bought and I, I'm starting to try it out, but I really like the results so far, is you wouldn't guess it's Kosar RX Centella Blemish Cream. So it's actually in a pretty good size package. It came with the little um, the spatula and it's just a little white cream. You put it over current acne and acne marks that are resistant to fading, which all of mine are, and you just rub it in and that's it. And it's done really well for my chin area where I've had old marks. Like I can tell they're clearing up quicker than they would on their own with this blemish cream. So if that's one of the things that you have an issue with, hyperpigmentation or leftover acne marks, definitely try this until blemish cream. So go ahead and moisturize with whatever moisturizer you use. I, right now, am using Clinique Dramatically Different Gel, which is made for oily skin. Really like this stuff, really great for sensitive skin. It does its job, keeps you moisturized, not a big deal. Um, I would do that, and then I would do the blemish cream or the drying lotion. I like to put my moisturizer on top of the Clean and Clear um, It's a Peroxide Mix because it tends to transfer less onto my pillow when I have a lotion on top of it. So that was 10, that was 10 products. Look at that. There is an 11th product for body acne. So I was like, that's kind of different, right? It gets its own little thing. Hello. This is the Murad, Murad acne body wash that's hella expensive and I don't know why. But it has 1% salicylic acid which is less irritating to my skin. But I use this on the tops of my shoulders, across my chest, and then on the upper back when I need to. And just note, everyone's a little bit different. Your skin is different. Obviously these work for me. Will they all work for you? Maybe not. Uh, but the rest, maybe not. All right, I'm ending it. Toodaloo.